on guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Dream Diesel giveaway number 24. This 2022 one of two ever produced Flight Fab equipped Air Ride F250 Platinum and $30,000 is up for grabs right now. And as our launch week bonus, the max giveaway multiplier 15 times entries is live right now now. All right, guys, so in today's video, we are going to do a walk around of this truck. As per usual, we're just going to set the 30 large Benjamins right there and let them hang out on those uh, 24 by 14 concave American Force wheels. I feel like those things just complement this truck so much. So we've had a bunch of really badass builds that we've given you guys a chance to take home, and our 23 winners are now enjoying them, and you could be enjoying this Air Ride F-250 Platinum next. It's a 2022, so it's got the fully revised interior that we're going to get in and show you guys here in a minute, but there's a lot of stuff on the exterior that we're going to have to discuss. Most importantly, the air ride setup on it that is one of two ever produced by Miles of Flight Fab out in Ohio. This complete kit is custom made by him no big factories, no big shops. He is the jack of all trades and the kit is absolutely gorgeous and it works really cool too. We'll show you guys that here in a second as well. All right guys, so we're gonna start real quick just with the truck itself. It's a brand new 2022 F-250 Platinum. It's carbonized gray and it's absolutely gorgeous. We did not wanna wrap over this color because carbonized gray metallic in and of itself, especially in person, is something you just have to see. And I also wanna note real quick that Ford actually just put a complete cease on their production of brand new ordering of 250, 350, 450, and 550s because of chip shortages. So these things right here are really, really hard to find. And so you can't just go out and order one, but you can enter for a chance to take this one right here home, which is way better than any factory F-250 that exists, in our opinion. All right, so we're gonna start up front real quick, guys. We did a lot of paint matching on this truck, but it was very minimal and it's, it's very specific. We really wanted to kind of accentuate all the platinum characteristics or the chrome on this truck to complement the fact that it is a platinum. So up front here, what we did, man, there's a lot of stuff to go over. So I might sound a little bit redundant, but it's important that we mention all these details. We're just gonna start quick with the headlights. So, so we deleted the amber lens on the side, deleted the amber lens that runs in between the turn signal, left all of the chrome bezel around the exterior perimeter, and then actually painted the inside bezels on the bottom and the top carbonized gray metallic to match. Might be a little bit hard to see, but in person, it's very, very, very clean. It just ties the whole truck together. We wanted to get rid of as many of the black plastic complements as possible, and we wanted to build the headlights, but we didn't want to go too crazy because an all gray headlight, in my opinion, kind of takes away from calling out those chrome characteristics as complement. So Fillet Fast Headlights hooked us up. These things are absolutely gorgeous. They look incredible. We didn't want those black housings on the inside because they really wouldn't have matched. Coming around to the center of the actual grill assembly itself, this was all chrome, now paint to match. We did leave the platinum brush chrome on the three slats of the inside of the grill, painted the inner part, and then of course with the badge itself, everything painted and sanded smooth, but left all of the actual factory Ford chrome and the Ford emblem chrome itself, which calls so much attention to detail to the front end. This thing is freaking gorgeous in so many different ways. And then on the bumper, the top plastic sanded and painted smooth, bottom balance sanded and painted smooth, and then we left the actual black insert here because if that was gray, it kind of reduces your focus to the center of the bumper and it feels like the bumper is a lot smaller, whereas I really enjoy how wide this entire opening is. It really kind of creates a nice compliment. Then we've got the fog light trim sanded, painted smooth as well. So pretty much everything on the front end has been touched by Peach Bottom Auto Body and the paint looks absolutely killer. You know what, I'm just gonna turn the lights on real quick because I think they look pretty sweet. So while we're on the topic of lighting, I think it's pretty important to note that we actually left the factory ambers in the mirrors and the cab lights, but we did stencil and paint them to match the carbonized gray as well. And then the mirrors are totally sanded and painted smooth as well with keeping that chrome cap so it ties it all together. And that brings us down to the F-250 badge. All of the factory chrome stays, but all of the complement is now painted to match. So at behind this platinum badge and behind the F-250 itself, and even in these inner slats, these parts are really hard to paint match. It's a very meticulous process to get in there and sand all the textured plastic smooth, but these things look honestly better than factory. Kind of the same premise as the front. We really wanted to call out complement of chrome, but we didn't want it to be the primary detail. So what we did was we actually painted the entire back platinum badge and we stencil out around all of these letters. We actually put decals over them, paint it, pull those decals, and then we clear coat the entire thing. These platinum and super duty letters are the actual brush factory finish with a clear coat over it 
so you get that nice compliment. So as we did on the front, we have on the back, the bezel for the tailgate itself is sanded and painted smooth. We left the chrome insert here just so it breaks it apart a little bit. We've got the factory forward badge, same thing as the front. Something about paint match badges just looks so freaking good. And then same thing with all the plastics on the back bumper, all sanded and painted smooth. That way everything just ties together. And that orange is a compliment too. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. And then my favorite characteristic about the back of the truck is actually the tail lights. So these are paint matched with a very slight tint over the red lens itself because I felt like red really wouldn't tie together with the orange. So it kind of dilutes that red shining through and it looks uh, just absolutely sick. All of these stencil lines are super precise. And then we actually left the backup and the turn signal light clear. So it really breaks apart all these different colors. And then the third brake light is the same tint hue to match with paint match around the actual perimeter just to, you know, tie all those little things together. So if you're the winner of this truck, you're gonna be rolling around on 24 by 14, negative 90 offset American Force Vantage. Probably one of my favorite wheels ever made by American Force because of how many details it has and how many spokes it has. We actually had these ones sitting in our inventory for a little while, saved them for the perfect project and this happened to be the truck. We actually wrapped them in a new tire to us, which is the 33, 13 and a half, 24 Predator. They're sick. I like them a lot. They look really cool. They give the truck a super aggressive stance with the offset and I feel like they fit them like a glove. All right, so now to the really exciting part. I'm gonna air this truck up and we're gonna talk about everything that's up underneath. Stepping out of that thing's like a completely different truck when it's that high, it's crazy. All right guys, so we typically name our trucks. It's just a really cool way to bring out the personality of the specific builds characteristics. And this one goes by Recoil. It's carbonized gray, but it's also gunmetal gray and it moves. So what a better fitting name, am I right? So what we're looking at here is the truck in it's all the way aired up form. This kit by Flight Fab has the ability to go from stock negative two inches and plus eight inches from a factory height. So it gives you 10 full inches of travel. And this is it's all the way aired up position. All right, guys, so when we say an air ride kit, it's actually a complete conversion because we take the factory suspension, which is coil spring up front and leaf spring in the back, delete all of that, and then replace it with airbags in the front and the back. And that requires a decent amount of change in the rear, which we're gonna get to here in a second, but I just kind of want to show you guys some of the details up front and that $30,000 cash that you could be taking home if you enter for a chance to win and you're drawn as the winner. So I got to give a huge shout out to Miles at Flight Fab for delivering on this kit. It's kind of a funny story. Sometime last year, it was back in like the November of 2021 timeframe. I had talked to Miles about this exact project. Didn't even have the truck at the time, but I knew that I wanted to get my hands on one of these kits and he makes everything himself. And I have to give a huge compliment and give credit where credit's due to his craftsmanship. It's it's not at all easy to make anything in general, but to take a concept of being able to move suspension components on a truck and do it in an extremely legitimate, not only form and function inspired fashion, and then to knock it out this beautiful in a kit that shows this well is really something. So Miles, great work, man. I cannot wait to find out which one of you is gonna take this truck home to experience it for yourself because it's truly one of a kind. The Flight Fab Air Ride setup is a full airbag conversion. What we've got is Firestone airbags here in the front and in the rear. These bags bags essentially have the ability to out tow the capabilities of this truck. If you pull an equipment trailer, if you pull a camper, even if you work your truck lightly, this thing is going to be able to be the jack of all trades for you. Or if you just want to stun it around town and just break a whole bunch of necks, then awesome. Actually kind of a funny story real quick. Jake was out doing photos with this truck just the other day with our photographer. And he noticed some guy was actually staring at the truck. And I think he forgot that he was off of his brakes and he coasted into a car that was right next to Jake. And Jake obviously didn't want to stick around for what happened afterwards, but but this truck like legitimately caused an accident because of how good it looks. Kind of a crazy thing that's never happened to us before, but I, but I felt inclined to share that story. <laughs> All right, guys, so we've got Illusion Orange metallic powder coat. The metallic in the paint and the powder coat is very, very similar. So it has a nice tie out between the two. So there's a bunch of plates around this kit that you guys are gonna see that are all hand polished to complement the chrome accents on the exterior of the truck. And then we've got these big old King shocks in the front and in the rear to tie out for the suspension. So up underneath the truck, pretty much everything is powder coated. We're talking sway bar, sway bar end links, the traction bar, tie rod, and the dual steering stabilizer bracketry that has as dual king shock steering stabilizers itself. So up underneath this thing, it's fully four link converted. We've got the flight fab drop bracket with the lower and upper radius arms, polished face plates on those. And then up underneath here, you're gonna see a little plastic tab. That's what's called a Hadley arm. 
that's for the self-leveling setup that the air ride management system maintains on this. So it tells the truck when it's completely level versus when it goes up and down. And it'll tell you exactly where your ride height set at from a calibration perspective. Now, what I love especially about the Flight Fab Air Ride setup is Miles designed the kit for a rear four link. But what he did, rather than doing a drop bracket that would come down right about here where the leaf spring perches, he actually designed a full track bar setup that operates as the lower four link itself. In my opinion, it's a cool form and function complement of design because it kind of gives the exterior aesthetic that much more of kind of your traditional scenario where you'll see a track bar in a truck. It's just that when you look up underneath, there's no longer a leaf spring. There's now a four link upper radius arm that does the four link in the rear. It's pretty cool. We also added in an F450 factory sway bar and flight fab sway bar extension end links. Those are these big beefy things right up in here. So those give the ability for the truck to keep a nice straight non swayable track as you're driving down the road. Up and behind, of course, we've got the big king shocks with the external reservoir and the flight fab polish plate here on the top hat for the rear airbag assembly itself. We wanted to do the illusion orange to match, but we also wanted to tie in a little bit of this carbonized gray metallic with the setup itself. So the system has two five gallon air tanks, one and two. We actually had Sean at Peach Bottom Auto Body paint match those. So it was a nice tie out of the gray and the orange complement for the entire air ride management system. And then tucked up under that polished plate are two compressors that air this entire system back to its fully charged state even quicker. And then, like I said, guys, it's all about the little details. Look at these polished flight fab bracket plates that go on the top of the actual track bar assembly itself. And then last but not least, guys, there are mag high tech diff covers, powder coated illusion orange to match both in the rear and in the front because this truck would be completely incomplete without mag high techs. And then last but not least, as I had mentioned earlier, guys, we did want to bring some of this orange through the rear as somebody's driving up behind you. They're going to first notice the massive three inch receiver trailer hitch that is Illusion Orange to tie together the entire truck. Cause when it's aired down, it's actually kind of hard to see a lot of this stuff. So if you guys had to pick a look, is it aired all the way down or is it aired all the way up? I guess you don't have to pick though, because if you win it, you can choose however you want it, whenever you want it. All right guys, and then if we jump back into the truck, we flip our auxiliary switch five and we double tap the center button on the control module itself. It'll jump right back to our calibrated ride height, which is three inches. So now one thing to complement is the air ride management system in these trucks is really, really intuitive. You can actually download an app on your phone so you can control it while you're away. And we even went as far as tying the entire system into the upfitter switch position five, which we'll show you guys here in the truck in a second. So that way you can actually add power to the entire system without having the truck on. So when you go to truck shows, you can literally flex on everybody while you're out of the truck without it running. All right, guys, I'm just going to let your 30,000 cash chill there. We've got your keys right here. Stay hungry, stay humble, my friends. Welcome to the inside of your 2022 F-250 Platinum. For 2022, they added the entire revision to the infotainment system. The screen's absolutely massive now, and it's pretty sick because it's got some features that the previous generation Illumiduties did not have. One of my favorite is actually the cameras. So you can jump to the cameras while you're sitting still. It's got a whole bunch of different angles in the menu screen. You can look forward. You can have a 360 view perspective on top. You can change it to just the front. Look at that. That's absolutely massive. You can go in here. You can get a perspective. So you see the right side, your left side, and your center. You've got your bed view that actually has dotted lines. So you can see for your fifth wheel or your gooseneck. You've got an additional camera auxiliary. If you want to plug in cameras, let's just say for a trailer, you've got your trailer hitch set up and then your full backup set up here. But the really cool thing is while you're driving this truck, the camera system never times out. It always says, please check surroundings for safety. I think that's like their disclaimer, but you can leave this view on the entire time while you drive versus where some of the other trucks actually time out after five or six seconds. I think that's pretty cool. All right, guys, so this truck's equipped with 18 super high output rock lights that are tied into this aux position six switch. And then position number five is actually how you control your air ride management system. So you jump in, you turn that on and you have constant power, whether the truck's on like it is right now or when it's turned off because those two positions from the factory Ford have constant power when they're turned on or off. And then to control the actual system itself, you slide up your little compartment down here and you're greeted with your air ride 
control remote. So this is actually hardwired to the manifold on the truck itself. And it tells you essentially everything that you need to know. Right now we're reading 68 pounds of pressure in the front left bag, 69 front right, 39 rear left, and then 41 rear right. This system is very customizable. So right now when you double tap the center air ride button, it will take you from wherever you're at. Let's just say we lower down the front of the truck. So we're face down booty up as they like to say. You double tap this button, and it'll take you exactly right back to your ride height. And those Hadley arms help that system know exactly where that is. So in the instance that you're towing, let's just say your skid loader and your mini excavator on your like 30K GVWR gooseneck trailer, right? You hook that up to this truck, it's gonna weigh the whole back of it down. It's gonna throw those Hadley arms out of their specific calibration range, and it's gonna air it back up to get it exactly back to ride height without you having to do anything at all. And then what we also like to do is tr keep the inside of the truck as factory as possible. So we put it in this stowaway compartment, that way you can hide everything and drive it like a completely normal truck. I should also note, guys, we left all the interior plastics on this truck for you to peel off. It's super satisfying. It's essentially a brand new truck and we wanna let you have that pleasure, you know, really getting to know your new rig. So boys and girls, that's Recoil, Dream Diesel Giveaway number 24, and it could be yours along with this $30,000 in cash. We've changed 23 people's lives over the course of the last three and a half years and you truly could be next. All it takes is one entry to win, so what are you waiting for?